Well, Mr. Taleb, you mentioned in uh, Anti-Fragile that you're concerned with the apparent dismantling of organized religion and that the, the collateral damage that could be done taking an institution that's been around for so long and, and removing it, and there's things that we don't know. But it seems uh, there's another concern, and that is with uh, technology, especially weapons of destruction type of technology growing, that you're, we're creating a very fragile uh, situation where you have people who believe in afterlife and so on. And if, play a mind game, that if we had a, 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 a bomb or some kind of weapon that could blow up the whole earth and just destroy everything, how many people would yes, actually okay. do it out of kindness and, and Th love? That's, that's very nice. Your question is good. Uh, the first, so let me take the parts. The first one is that I believe that uh, attacking religion is dangerous because the mind abhors a vacuum. And uh, we lost religion, what did we replace it with? You know, think about it. Uh, rationalism, uh, Russia, Soviet Russia, uh, thing. And uh, effectively, I'm gonna give you a statistic, the first suicide bombers were not in the Near East, were not Islamic fundamentalists. They were Greek Orthodox, my tribe, communists. All right. Communists in Lebanon, all right? So it's not like Susan Bami is not invention of Islam. That's the first one. Uh, effectively, people who are religious sort of know, I don't believe, you know, to use a Greek word, uh, pistevo, pisteo, pisteik, all right? Religion isn't quite about belief, it's about some ritual. It, it has worked, except that in the modern world, we have too many religions in contact with each other, they should not be in contact with each other, and it causes, you know, uh, um, intolerance. I mean, it's not like I'm saying religion is, 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 is good. I'm saying that the absence of religion, we know, is in a vacuum that is easily replaced by all kinds of crazy beliefs, like they don't believe in religion, but they believe in the economic predictions. I mean, if, if anyone <laughs> uses the minimum standards of rationality that you apply on for atheism and you apply it for on uh, Mr. Dawkins with an atheist uh, use of probability theory, you realize that there's no religious fundamentalism that is more irrational than his, you know, or primitive than his use of probability, you see, or uses of uh, rationality. Like I was arguing with, um, with Mr. Dennett, who's a gentleman, all these atheistic things, they said, oh yeah, no, we have science. Well, what do you mean by science? He says, science can put this building. He says, that's exactly the problem. Look at what science does. Right. It, puts up, it puts up Euclidean structures, all right, this is modernistic. There's this modernistic view of science replacing religion. If you understand science, it's all come from non-scientists. Scientists understand how little we know about the world that is scientific. How many decisions we take every day that are probabilistic. Okay, you, how little compared to, and, and, and that's what a scientist would say. So this is why it's rarely you find a scientist, okay, who would attack religion, all right on the grounds that it's harmless. Belief in the stock market or belief in communism or some top down state is a lot more harmful. That's the first point. The second point, every attempt at eradicating religion makes it come back with a vengeance. And this is, you think if we decide to remove harmful religion on grounds that it makes people blow up, makes them more intolerant. And we know from the, the places where they are very religious today are places where uh, take Russia, Soviet Union, you know, try to get into, uh, you know, now it's uh, Vespers every night, you know, for, try to get into a church in Russia, okay, it's standing room, only. of course, there's always standing room, but it's, you can't get close to a church on Sundays, especially, it's so filled, okay, so religion has come back with a vengeance when they try to repress them, and we saw that after the French Revolution, we saw that, we see that in a lot of places, and we see it in Syria, which was uh, uh, Egypt, that were, uh, and Iraq, there were states that were secular states, a la top-down nation state, and, and how you had a, a religious boost after, you know, when, when they were trying to move it. So you cannot eradicate religion from a top-down way, right? And in effect, it's Dawkins himself who complains that they seem to hold beliefs, and the more evidence you give them, the stronger their beliefs, well, the mechanism that's anti-fragile. We try to bang on something that gets stronger, right? The more, that's the more outrageous their claims. Yeah. Exactly. But the point is that religion, the third one is more philosophical. And comes back to, now I understand that from, you know, when writing the book, someone corresponded with me, a lot of it, who was Wittgensteinian, 
and, and told me, in the, you know, the, the, the Wittgenstein saying is like the anti, you know, the journey is the fact that he represents that, that way of thinking. And, and it's as follows. When I go to a movie, all right, if I took Dawkins to a movie, you know, Dawkins is a guy like Steven Pinker, one of yours, one of these guys, really <laughs> simple minds, but, you know, write books. So you take him, you put him in a, you put him in this movie theater and you make him watch a movie, all right? He would interrupt the movie by saying, this is nonsense, this is not blood, all right? This is not blood, this is tomato juice, no? Would, would he do that? No, you go for the right. Why? You make belief for the purposes, it's called trust. The word belief in English is not epistemic, it's beloved, it has love in it. You stick, it's credere or, or pistevo, it's trust, right? The, the word belief has beloved is I trust something for the story. I go for the story. And in fact, if you think that religion has anything to do with God, you're completely missing the point. Most religions start with rituals and develop deities later, okay, to consolidate it rather than start with the deity and flows to develop rituals. Okay, this is what you realize. So religion is something that makes people do things. And effectively, I'm going to give you some of the, the, the things that you get out of religion. It's a via negativa, what not to do. There's no way, rationalistically, you could enforce an interdict on debt. And the minute Catholic countries lost Catholic Catholicism, they discovered two things in Europe, sex and debt. <laughs> and they went wide on both. And look at the countries today that has most financial problems. Italy, Portugal, uh, sorry, Spain, and Ireland, all right? They, they're the latest because Catholicism has a fatwa on, on lending that was stronger than Islam. If you read Aquino, if, you, if you're a pure, proper Catholic, you know, neither borrower nor lender shall be, all right? So if you realize, when, once you remove religion, you're removing some stuff that comes with religion, that like interdicts on debt, all right? Via negativa. I, 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 I like the via negativa, don't do some things. They can only be enforced via religion, all right, initially, because people aren't smart enough to, uh, you see, to do it and reason and because to transmit the, the wisdom of the ages, okay? So this is what comes with it. The, the idea of a God that's so minor in religion, not, not even funny, you see? This is why people don't get it. I mean, I'm offending a lot of people, but by saying God doesn't exist, it, it came, usually comes last in the whole deal of religion, right? And, and all kind of formation of beliefs. So this is a credere versus, uh, credere means I trust, credit, letter of credit, I give credit to this. So you go for a story, and who, Wittgenstein gets it by saying our language is important enough to express what we do. So let's not focus on linguistic things called belief. You see, that, that's, that, that's what I have, have to say about religion. So I'm not in support of religion. Um, if something has survived for so many millennia, all right, don't uproot it, okay, unless you better be certain that you're replacing it with something better. And so far, we've been fooled. <laughs>